we're being true to the roots of the prisoner. Um, and we're, we're not trying to overshadow the original or replace the original. You know, like everything we do at Big Finish, we do it out of love for the original. And uh, really different from the Doctor Who stuff we do. This is, this is a reimagining of it. This is, um, you know, a what if. Uh, it, it, it bears many resemblances to the original, but it, it is different in all sorts of little ways. Oh, I've been going through the files. A little light bedtime reading, you know? Yes. There must be a lot to go through. All the torture chamber reports, the deaths, the escapes. Oh, that last file is very short indeed. Well, my name is Barnaby Edwards and I'm playing quite a lot of the villagers uh, and uh, the village shopkeeper and various other numbers in the village. And I'm also playing Danvers, who uh, is uh, an erstwhile employer of the prisoner of number six. I think the most challenging one is the shopkeeper, not from his accent, but because he has to replicate exactly the words that are in the original uh, uh, episode of, the, of Arrival, where the shopkeeper speaks utter gibberish for about a minute. So in the script, Nick Briggs had just written that bit from Arrival, just say it in exactly that. So yeah, I went through and I was listening again and again and again, writing all these phonetics down. But it is all sort of and it's just, it's utter nonsense. Um, but yeah, now that's my favorite voice, I think. I'll go and practice my, uh, my shopkeeper. <laughs> we also have all, do it all in a strange language. <laughs> Since I seem to be into that today, but yeah, I love, I love, I, I really love the script. I think he's done an amazing job recreating the feel of the 1960s st series. It's just brilliant. When I listen to it, I definitely do see the village. Um, I know the original show pretty well, um, so yes, I have a very clear image in my mind of of number six's house and the, the path leading from six's house. I don't think you need to know these things. I don't think you need to be well acquainted or even acquainted at all with the prisoner to enjoy these audios though. I think they stand, uh, they stand alone for sure. Um, which is a testament to, to not just a, how well the scripts are done, but the strength of the, of the original idea.